Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna do a collective reading. Um, my boyfriend is here, so I'm not used to doing these when somebody's here, not even my kid. So um, I'm not gonna do a Zodiac just cause I wanna do a different way of doing it and I need to, it's gonna take longer and I just don't feel like doing all that. But you'll see him on here cause he does like inspirational kind of videos like I do. So, okay. You guys know that like on youtube it's called end of the world okay here's the earth just chilling damn what does a sweet earth you might say round sorry my hair's like lopsided it's bothering me okay so the overall energy is celebration and strength i told somebody that i would put these up okay so right now you could have been waiting for something that you wanted to happen, but you felt like it was never going to happen and you had to like climb mountains in order to get it and have that strength to keep going for this celebration. Um, so let's see. Let's do this. So crazy energy. Hope you guys are doing good. All right. Um, what is the collective going through right now? Give me some cards. Watch it be like, nope, this isn't the deck that you're supposed to be using. Three more. That's one. Two. Okay. Wrong one. So we'll just stick with these. All right, so let's see. So right now that song um, from Dashboard Confessional is uh, Vindicated. Vindicated, I am selfish, I am wrong, I know, I know I'm right. I knew, I knew it all along. Now I am floored, but I am cleaning up so well. I am seeing in me now the things you swore you saw yourself. So tired of the corner of your lips, but now to feel your fingertips. Chase the moment for forever. Okay, so I should have stopped. <laughs> um, okay, so you could have had some kind of ceremony, some kind of invocation with somebody or um, spirit or, you know, spirit guides, whatever. So... In this card, I always notice that she's doing, like, a crystal grid kind of thing. She's doing, like, some, some kind of a ritual. Um, you know, again, it could be with spirit. Um, but, one, there's a snake. And, two, in the background, there's, like, a person. So, there's so many ways that you could take this card. Um, you know, because she's putting her hands over the crystal grid, too. So, she could be doing some healing work, some energy work. Um, the snake represents obviously like betrayal or, um, something like that. And in the back, that little lady, I usually say that, um, it's like she's channeling, um, spirit or asking for something. But in this one, I usually don't, um, talk about the snake either, but I don't know why I want to. Um, I think because... It's saying, like, you need the strength or some celebration that you've been working for. Um, so it's kind of like, she looks mean. And I feel like this time I sh <laughs> should use a snake. So somebody could be watching you. I feel like you're, like, in this stillness mode. You're not really putting yourself in out there. You're not really... Like, you're kind of, like, you're not isolating, but, like, you're keeping to yourself, right? Um, there could have been some reflection work, um, you know, um, self-reflection, seeing things for what they really are. Um, you know, it could be with um, a person or yourself. Uh, this could have been activated in this winter, but it doesn't have to be. Um, or something could have happened in the winter that now you're reflecting on. Um, and it could be the celebration, like whatever it is, it could be like wanting 
a relationship or wanting a job or something like that and the reflection could be you know with the snake there's like betrayal sorry my hair's a mess and I don't want to show it um you know the but the betrayal could be like seeing things for what they are right so my hair's gonna bother me um again so you could have even even saw how this job was just um like a scam kind of thing it wasn't what you thought it was going to be um or you were reflecting on your behavior and how you act where your patterns are you know um stuff like that like your behavior but it could also be about somebody else's behavior because maybe you wanted the celebration this relationship so badly that you weren't really paying attention to the red flags or you know, you could have called this person out and they just don't respond to it or change or something like that. But there is something random that like you're not expecting. And it's like, it's not saying to be cautious or to be vigilant about it. It's kind of like saying in this situation, like it says like stone people, right? And the vigilance. So with this card, usually I say, you know, don't be scared, don't be whatever. But some people, there could be something that pops up, pops off. Um, so this person in this background with the betrayal could be some kind of reason why you went into reflection mode and stayed in stillness. So something could happen that you're not expecting or it could be Again, if it's a job, a person, a relationship, something could happen where like all of a sudden a person comes into your life or you get like a really good job that you weren't expecting. <clears throat> um, so with stone people, it's making me think like don't numb to it. Don't put a wall up. So if it's like a person coming in, don't just automatically think that they're going to be like every other one and <clears throat> in the stillness there should be some kind of reflection so when something does pop off if like an x pops up or something like that like don't be a stone wall where it's like <clears throat> you freeze you don't know how to react because the karma from this situation and the reflection that you did is going to bring a new beginning um What's that song? The Dawn to Dust thing? Dawn to something. It's from that. It's, it's, it's with a girl and a guy. Is it with Zane and some other girl? I don't know. I love that song though. Um, the stillness that you're going to be in is going to bring some kind of like magic into your life. See, these cards are so messed up. But um, <clears throat> you could also be doing, again, the energy work. Um in the stillness that's making you come into this reflection. The reflection and the work that you do during the stillness time is what's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen that you're not expecting. Or there could be like anger or something, but not from you because you're coming into your strength and your celebration, like it's coming to you, right? Um, from staying in the stillness, doing your reflection work, um, or reflecting on something that happened in the winter, is going to bring the new beginnings, right? So when I think of the fairies, the earth magic, it either reminds me of, again, something magical coming into your life, something that you've wanted this entire time, um, even healing, you know, you're in the stillness, you're in your own way of doing things. And when you're in your way of doing things, if you have self-awareness, you can really pick up on, you know, what your behavior. Um, and you can, if there's a reflection, if there's a certain thing that you were dealing with that you even thought was your celebration, um, <clears throat> you were holding out on, like, again, if it's like somebody you thought you wanted to be with, and then all of a sudden you do this reflection work and you're like realizing how they're acting and you're like, I don't want that, you know? So from you leaving, there could be like a pop off out of nowhere. And the stone people are saying like, don't back down. Like if you used to like just keep your mouth shut and like just say nothing, like it's saying like say something this time because the karma is going to bring you into new beginnings if you can be yourself and your authentic self, stand up for yourself because um, you want better. So in order to get rid of the old of something that's not working out, you need to get rid of the 
you just, if you want something new, then you have to get rid of the old, right? But you call, also could be doing more of a meditation um, ritual. Um, um, whatever. And you could be doing like any energy work as in using the four elements of the air, <clears throat> uh, fire, earth, and water, right? Only in um, using all those into an alchemy or um, bringing things together as manifesting, um, you know, a new passion, right? And this has fire. So it's like you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and Aries or a Leo, right? But it's like the fire, like, it's like, it's exciting. It's, it's hot. Like it's, it's, um, thrilling, you know? And <clears throat> during this reflection, I think is what made you realize, um, what you were more passionate about. Right. And that could even be the unexpected. You weren't expecting to realize that. So as an example, if you do want a new beginning in a relationship it's like don't be stone cold like be open to it you know that's what's going to bring new beginnings um even the reflection and stillness with <clears throat> that that like i don't remember what i'm saying like the stone like you maybe you're realizing like yeah like i kind of am really closed off to new things <clears throat> let's see what happens with it um, you could have an instinct that something is going to happen, though. Um, you're nurturing. Yeah. You're nurturing right now um, the unknown. Like, whatever it is, you're really nurturing that energy of um, the unknown. Like, getting ready for it. Which could have happened in the reflection during the stillness. Um, which brought the passion and the elements to everything. But... <clears throat> The nurturing that you're doing for yourself also could be like the unexpected. Like you weren't expecting during this time period of building your strength was going to be bringing you into self-love, right? In some kind of unfoldment. Yeah, things are going to start, things are going to start coming um like submerging, like come, if there was like something that <clears throat> you were asking the universe or asking God or whoever for answers, that's going to bring your new beginning as well. And things are going to start coming up and they're going to start appearing, showing you the truth of what it is. Yeah. See, I was just thinking of this card, the emergence and the submerge. It's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is like a submerged to me. See how it has like iceberg, right? If you think about the Titanic, right? It doesn't really have anything to do with like things coming up, but like when you hit the ice, I can't even think of what it's called. <laughs> when you hit the ice, right? It crashes and everything like crumbles down. Um, so it's like when I see that, it reminds me of kind of like that, it crumbles down, but submerged like comes up back from the water. You know what I mean? But it's like the submerge is different from the emerge. Because emergence, yeah, because emergence is kind of like the same exact thing, but it's kind of like it's already above the water. You just haven't seen it yet. So it's like everything's swirling around like it's a dragonfly. Like it's more like already in the air, already flying around. You just haven't came to the answer yet. But in the stillness, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Your answers are coming that you are looking for, right? Yeah, vision quest. Reflection, um, passion, vision quest. So it's like during this reflection time, you came to find out um, nurturing this unfoldment. And this was a vision or you changed a vision like you could have already had a vision and you were like yeah during the reflection the stillness you're like yeah this isn't what i want you know there could have been healing yeah see vulnerability and there's a mountain the 
The other thing about the mountain is like, you can't see because these cars are so worn out. Because I would use them all the time. Like, you know, like the gust that like, if it's like raining or there's like, what, evaporation, con condensation or something. And it like, like goes over the mountain. I kind of feel like it has something to do with that. I don't know what, you know, but coming through the vulnerability, right? It's like a meadow of flowers. It's like the unexpected, right? You're nurturing the unexpected, which is gonna bring something in that's saying, don't be stone cold. And in order for this emboldenment to come through, there needs to be vulnerability. Instead of staying in that stone people, because you have the vigilance and the unfolding. So it's like, and it's love pretty much like the Lotus. Is that? Yeah. And then you have the sun. So it's like, once this is kind of cleared, this energy of numbing of uh, not trusting, um, you know, stone, it's hard as rock, you know, the unfoldment will come because you'll be nurturing this, this new vision. Um, maybe not even telling anybody about it because you know, you don't know what's going to pop off from it. <laughs> you might be keeping it kind of on the down low. Okay. Let's do one more. Cool. Oh, cool. So this one was on the bottom too. Remember I said something about having an instinct. I think I did. And it's also where it would have been because <clears throat> it was, I was talking about the vigilance and then I looked at the bottom, um, and it was instinct. So This has like snow. So during this reflection time, since it says winter, it doesn't have to be again. I feel like during the reflection, you, 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 you realized like, um, you have an instinct on something that's going to happen or you have an instinct on what was happening that you didn't know, you know, that's going to come to the surface. And that's also going to help you. It's also going to help you with um, division. But you have to be vulnerable in order to, you know. But again, mountains. And the wolf. Look up what the, um, um, the wolf represents. Like, I can't think of the word. Omen. Like, look up what the wolf omen means. Because I was just thinking about it also. There's a lake in lake and stillness. So again, like I said, when you're in the stillness, you realize some kind of like instinctual thing that could help with the enfoldment. So the bottom is breach. Um, when I see this um, card, it usually to me means don't go back, right? But breach in general means like breaking rules, like, break, like breaking um, the law or something like not criminal act, but some kind of, uh, <clears throat> like if you had, let's say a contract, right. And somebody broke the contract or it's saying you broke the track, something like that. Right. So you got to ground yourself in the innocence focus, but be effortless, have a different perspective there will be something that comes in, some kind of message or whatever person that brings you a message um, from the healing that you did for the purifying of your thoughts, beliefs, whatever it was that you've been asking questions for has been purified as in it's not that you don't care, but it's like you're not paying attention to it as much as you might have before. And something could come up that's um, not distracting you, but helping you to heal. Right? So, full moon is completion, and I'm going to end it there. Um, mainly also because it's... Um, yeah. I'm just going to leave it there because it's also 20 minutes and I only wanted to do 20 minutes and I told him it was only going to be like 20 minutes. So, um, I think there's a full moon coming up too. So 
<clears throat> um, something could happen around there or if you're not already in this energy, it could be happening around this time, okay? So I love you guys so much and I hope you have a great day. I'm just gonna do some magic. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. Yeah, so there might be some guilt. You might have to either, whatever this unknown is, whatever this pop up off can be, um, that can make you maybe freeze not knowing what to do. You could be feeling, I really see any beliefs that no longer assist in my growth and my soul's growth. So yeah, so something could happen where like, you have to be honest with yourself um, because whatever it is, they're not bringing you peace. Just be fa patient with it because happiness is coming. You could have a, like your um not re not revenge is not what I mean whatsoever um you know something that you've wanted to do that you've been too scared to do or you feel bad doing could come and you're gonna have like I want to say the word victory but it's not that either I don't know what the word is uh just this you'll feel justified because your beliefs are different, right? You've transformed. And it has to do with the heart chakra as well. Like, all the chakras, chakras in general, because it's going up and it has all these little things. But the heart chakra is the one that's exploding open. Okay. So, transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me grow and learn i'm aware of my progress and open my wings to the light see like even just being aware of um your progress is huge because if you look back at what you've accomplished and what you've been through it really helps when you're in a situation where it's new because it can be like trust the calm affirmation. It's like, what was I saying? Um, when you see what you've been able to accomplish before and what you've been through before, you can look back and be like, oh, I've already done this. It might be different, but it's still kind of the same. If you have self-awareness, that's huge. And if you've done reflection work, it's easier to have self-awareness, okay? Affirmation. Affirmation, I'm going to say, is about the root chakra, about having security, safety, um, you know, uh, not survival skills, but having this surviving, like shelter or food, you know, it's not having to, it's a root chakra, it's a base chakra, so it starts at the bottom, so like that's your trauma, that's like what needs to be healed in order to you know, with the Kundalini thing, which I was going to say something about that because Kundalini has to do with, um, at the bottom of your root chakra, it's like a coil of a snake and it goes up all your chakras out of your crown chakra. And then you have your Kundalini experience, which is, which can, uh, have to do with like sexual things too. So affirmations, I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. See, and that's part of the root chakra. Um, putting yourself first, uh, not, helping everybody else, doing everybody else's needs and not taking care of yourself. I start myself and retain my power. I'm brave and gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and am respected by others. Yeah. So if you believe that you will be, you are respected by others. And even if you don't see it in reality, respect yourself and you'll start attracting people that will do that for you. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.